Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2021 mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then typically again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. You could check a different part of your chart. You could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you on some level. The readings really are timeless. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. That will help you to know if I make any announcements on the channel or if there's a new reading that's posted that might be for you. So let's begin and get the messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please? What advice do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. All right, so we'll do our tarot reading here, then we'll do our Angel Answers Oracle cards, and we begin with your current situation. You've got the Four of Cups. Well, we're going to be moving forward with the Tower as the immediate influence. You got the King of Swords in your destiny, the distant past, the Seven of Cups, the more recent past, the world. And coming towards you, the energy in the near future is the Empress. You are represented here by the Page of Wands. The person or situation you're dealing with is the Magician. You've got the Moon here in your hopes and fears. The outcome, you've got the Six of Pentacles and then... The two clarifiers from the bottom of the deck, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Swords. So these are really about moving forward with things. Some of you may have to do with doing some research, being online with things, but it's also too about raising your own vibration. So the Page of Swords is more of a developing energy and communication. He can also be a caution, all right, for you in terms of calibrating your words being aware of what you're writing in email, text, etc., and just being cautious because he can, you know, he's not the greatest communicator. And it may also be too, if you come into something that maybe there's a miscommunication and you need more information because the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor. So this is a fortunate card, but with a bit of a sort of a caution there for you. So you have here, of course, you have Pisces, you've got water, air, You've got Earth here and the Empress, and you've got fire. So you've got, a, you know, somebody here has got to get a wake-up call with the Tower. Whatever this Four of Cups is or stagnant energy, I love to see the Tower with that kind of energy because it's like, time to move. We're not doing this anymore. And so if it's been something where you've been waiting and you're getting impatient, you're going to get an answer. Um, the tower can also be about a breakthrough. You know, we have a breakdown to have a breakthrough. And I think everyone in their life experiences that. And I'm sure you can look back on your life or you will be able to, and you'll see where some of maybe what seemed like the most painful events became the most prosperous events. The tower shows up in situations that are not built on a firm foundation. It's a tower built on sand. And so this lightning bolt is representative of the universe and it knocks the crown of the ego off and it allows you to be in awareness. It allows you to be unconditional, to attract. The universe is very impersonal. So it's not a, this person's good, this person's bad. It's all about their energy field. And so this will allow you to raise your own vibration. It also shows these little droplets, those are called yads. Those are um, Hebrew for the first letter of the name of God. They represent gifts coming towards you. So I feel like for you, you have a brand new opportunity that shows up here. It's a beautiful energy that you have coming in with the world, the wheel of fortune, the magician, the empress. So if it's a relationship, you've got new love here. If you had something that ended and it was tumultuous, or if it was a job, if you've had an ending or you feel like you're about to have one, like you're standing on the precipice, right? And it's pretty scary. There's a reason why piss is in that, right? It's like I'm pissing my pants waiting for this because I know it's happening. You have so many better opportunities here. Welcome it. Embrace it. Allow yourself to be anything. So the King of Swords is communication. 
much better communicator than the Page of Swords. So part of this is your own ability to express your thoughts and feelings and make clear-headed decisions. It's on your life path. And so for some of you, this may be one of those things where if you feel like, God, I'm all over the place, I don't think that represents me. It may be one of those things that's a goal that keeps getting brought up in your life, that you keep revisiting this and saying, okay, there's something about clarity here. Manifest yourself as the King of Swords in those situations. You know, you can say to yourself, your own self-talk is powerful. I'm the king of swords. I know what to do here. The The information comes to me clearly. I know this. So if you feel like you're unclear, they're telling you channel that king of swords energy. It's possible for anyone. So in the distant past, you had a lot of decisions here. You also may have had to take off the rose-colored glasses. If you were kind of going through life and the pandemic hit, and there may have been some areas of your life that you were not seeing clearly and it's they suddenly became more was revealed very quickly. It may also be related to that tower too where it's just undeniable that there was something about this that was not sustainable and you may have been having some areas where you were being taken advantage of on some level, misled on some level and just not seeing some of the opportunities that you were missing out on, because I really get that with the Four of Cups too. Like there were some opportunities that you may have passed up. Now, what's meant for you won't miss you. So it's not like it's devastating, like, oh God, I missed this and now what? More will be revealed. But with the world here, this is in the more recent past, you're definitely taking a nice turn. You've got the world then coming towards you, the Empress, and the situation that you're walking into is a magician. I mean, talk about powerful energies here of manifestation, bringing more in. It's wonderful. So, the, you know, it's interesting too, because the world and the Empress um, are not only about creative things, but she's the, the world traveler, but it's also too about enjoying fine dining and wine and, you know, those sort of opulent meals and experiences, lavish experiences. So you may start to have a bit of a wanderlust and wanting to get out there and wanting to go see things. And you know what? If you got a computer, you got a phone, let yourself get lost for a little bit. You know, that's how I manifested. I've traveled the world. I didn't realize until recently how much travel I really have compared to what is average. Honestly, I started doing this, I'll keep it short, but I started doing this probably 25 years ago by looking at Apple vacation um, catalogs. And that's how I was manifesting travel without even realizing it. So allow yourself to do that. It is feeling, this is an, an energy of feeling awesome and it continues. It really is you in a high vibrational place. Whoever you meet when you're in this energy is a high vibrational match. And I feel like they're also a real free spirit. Whoever you are attracting, very free spirited, fun, but powerful. They've got a powerful energy field around them. We all do, but I feel like they've got a, a way of honing it and creating things that are fantastic. So the Empress shows up. And again, I mentioned she's the female creator of the material world very loving energy coming around you, uplifting energy. So some of you, if if what is being brought down is a job, a relationship, there's brand new opportunities here and they grow. Whatever you had before was more stagnant and stuck. This is prolific. It's not, it's never ending, but it, like I said, there's a lavish energy around it. You know, it's almost like being on a super yacht and having that kind of you know, delivery, service delivery. It's really something spectacular. So a new job, it's like a dream job, a new relationship. Again, there's passion here. She's the mother of the tarot also. So I will acknowledge that too, because I know a lot of times married folks watch these readings and they go, oh, parts of it resonate. But what about me? If you're somebody who is looking to grow your family in some way, doesn't necessarily mean a new child but there's things that you want to do for your family. This is great energy to create that. Anything new, it, it's like new opportunities abound. And um, with the um, Page of Wands here, you're ready to take action. You've got this 
leadership, charismatic kind of energy around you. And it, you may feel like a bit of a kid at heart with this. So maybe you find yourself, you know, feeling kind of like I nostalgic in a way or wanting to do things that make you feel carefree. Maybe if you live in a warm climate, you've got all the windows down when you're driving, things like that that just uplift you. You're also bringing a lot of encouragement to people around you. They watch you and they feel inspired. You are keeping things light, you're keeping them fun, and it attracts, attracts, attracts. I mean, this is an, a very affable kind of energy that people want to be around. So you may find you get texts and calls out of the blue. You may find you start to have people, just friends, not necessarily everybody trying to date you, but a lot of people wanting to get together with you, Pisces, and it almost feels like, my God, I don't have time for all this. But people people see you as an uplifter and they like that energy. Now, whoever you're attracting here is like, talk about born under a, a star, you know, right? They've got that infinity symbol here on the magician. And it's truly an energy of creating, of bringing the, you know, those universal powers into a 3D manifestation. So whoever this is, they are able to really create a beautiful life. And it's the the garden at the feet, this also too, if it's a situation for you rather than a person, really has to do with cultivating cultivating the mind. It's like the garden of the mind. And from the garden of the mind is where all things develop and grow. And so there is, in terms of a relationship, there's passion here, there's desire, there's honesty, great communication. Again, this thing about really having a wonderful lifestyle, like going to nice restaurants, if those are open or when they're open, enjoying a lot of, um, act, not activities, what is the word for this? Um, I'm thinking of experiences, you know, having experiences together that are meaningful, that are valuable important. The magician though also too, for those of you that because the empress is here too with such a creative, I, she's got a creative energy in terms of your ability to create and so does the magician. If it's a new business endeavor or something you're wanting to launch, one of the things about the magician is he tells you to keep your ideas to yourself until they're fully manifested because you don't want to pick up somebody else's limitation along the way. So if this is about a, like a business or something for you, kind of be protective a little bit of it. Know that you can have, do, or be anything, but you don't necessarily need everyone's input. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have the moon here, your own energy. And with this, that you've got the pool of consciousness here, the seat of the soul where all things are born. And so it's really about you harmonizing with your inner self connecting with that energy. And again, you've got the yods, right, that we talked about earlier. And it's also, too, a representation of the sun mirroring the moon, or really the opposite, the, the moon mirroring the sun. And it's letting you know that you are, in terms of law of attraction, a manifester. You're manifesting things. It's also, though, too, this can be a little bit of a card of uncertainty, and so it's about the truth being revealed, things coming to light for you that give you guidance. And so part of it is you having your own intuition and leading with your, your intuition and allowing that to develop and grow. So the Six of Pentacles brings in balance, but it also brings in reciprocity. So for those of you who are looking for a job, you're going to be getting an offer. In terms of a relationship, I do feel like you've got a very like-minded energy coming in. So if you had before something that was dishonest or restrictive or something like that, this is much more um, leveled up. You know, it just feels really good. There's giving and taking and growing together. So it's really a nice, very nice reading for you. Something that moves you forward, especially for those of you that have been having a hard time with something not developing or not moving forward. This is all about moving forward and growing. So let's see what the angels have to say here for Pisces, please. And a timeline for Pisces. And a yes, no, maybe. All right, you have here, communicate clearly, right? So universe, very impersonal. It will give you what you ask for, whether you want it or not. 
So be very clear with what you ask for in terms of your emotions too. You, they tell you you don't have any need to worry, no need to worry. Everything is working out for you. The universe wants to interact with you and is on your side. Let go, all right? So let go and let God. Let that tower do its job. Let it wash away anything that's unstable because the tower comes in to bring in something better. And so it's sort of like, you know, I never let go of anything without leaving claw marks, right? So we got to let go a year from now. So when we see this, this is not like, well, this is going to suck. And then all of a sudden it just happens. There's momentum happening. And it's, you know, day by day, things show up, bridges of incidents that show you that your manifestations are on the way, that they're coming, they're developing. So a year from now, when you look back, you're going to be blown away because you got a yes. So things are moving forward for you here, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.